What is going on YouTube? It is your buddy, everybody's buddy, Car Crashing and back with another video. And today I am working with all kinds of stuff. I got all kinds of stuff in the paint booth today to paint. And that's kind of what I was going to go over. Well, while I got all this stuff in the paint booth, uh, it all has to be situated in such a way that I can paint everything all at one time. I can make the most efficient use of my time and that uh, I could use the same materials. I'm using efficient materials. If I'm clear coating more than one thing at a time, I'm gonna be able to do that. And uh, yeah, it's just a way for me to uh, work the best. <laughs> So that's how I like to get things done. And today I have a okay, we'll start with this Subaru bumper. This Subaru bumper came in here. Uh, my buddy had some front end damage, and uh, yeah, we got him a new bumper here. And uh, this is a bumper stand, and this is what this is made for. And of course, this makes it really nice and a little bit easier. But what I wanted to show you is the security and the confidence that I have when I go to paint this thing that it's not going to be all rickety, it's not going to be falling off of the stand, it's not going to be rolling around on whatever that is down there. I'm embarrassed to even show you that, but uh, it's not... Uh, it, boom, there it is. I am not worried about that. I, when I go to wipe this down and degrease it, everything's going to be fine. I am 100% confident in that thing sitting up there. And just to show you how I achieve that, right through something that's of course not going to get painted, you could just go ahead and make sure it's a little bit secure. As long as you have three points of contact, these bumpers are very... Uh, balanced well and uh, as long as you find good contact with it they tend to stay where you want them to uh, now on to the Hayabusa fairings the Hayabusa fairings I want a little bit off of this table in order to access a lot of these areas that are going to be difficult when I'm going to lay the paint on there and not only that but you don't want uh, you don't want the surface in contact with your table you always want it up off of there that way if the paint drips and sticks to it it doesn't lead to a whole bunch of nonsense and uh, yeah it's just precautionary so as you can see i used clamps to get that one up i'm going to use a different method for this other fairing so stay tuned for that one and i also have some Hinges here for the tailgate of the truck that I just got done. I'll show you up here. I have a little piece for the Can-Am that we're going to be putting up somehow. And another scoop piece for the Can-Am that we're going to be hooking up somehow. And yeah, hopefully we're going to be painting all these together all at one time. So, if you want to see content like this, please subscribe to the channel. You're doing me a big, big favor. Like this video if you like the content. I'm telling you, there's a couple of tips in here that you're probably going to take home today. And as always, thank you for watching. Let's get to work. All right, everyone. So, we've been getting some stuff laid out here in the booth. Like I said, we've already got the Sayabusa fairing suspended firmly off of our painted surface with some clamps you're just able to clamp them on and then slide them down to the place that you need to just to make some good contact there i might even put one more clamp on there just to just to give it a little bit more sturdiness i think i will and this is just simple stuff right guys i mean everybody knows this you just get yourself a zip tie or a, a s clip or whatever they call that thing there and you just hook it on there and you're able to spray and that's how that works there <laughs> now uh this this paint is going to be different from that paint and the, that paint so what i actually plan to do so it's closer to my filter here is come over set it on there give it the paint that it needs and then put it back over here and then work down the line like that and now for my good tip that you're going to love here that's right solo cups or whatever brand these are look how easily stackable they are 
Look at uh, look at how you could make it meet different different heights. Now watch this. We're gonna we're gonna just set. It. How you like that? Up off the painted surface, and I could still get to these areas as I go and paint, so I could leave it wet. Fantastic, if you ask me. Uh, so we do have one more thing here. I gotta get done. Pay, pay no attention here. Uh, and that's my can am scoop piece. Now, this thing, I do want to paint the whole thing all in one shot, and it is a continuous uh, bead here. So, what I plan to do is fill that with a little bit of either wire or some kind of string or rope. And I think I have just a thing. And then we're going to hang that up like that. Let's do it. This is what I'm looking at when I step into the booth the next time. I know I move things around a little bit, but I uh, just wanted to be comfortable with everything that I was doing here. And this definitely allows you to get all the way around your workpiece, which is something that you need to do. And I feel it's nice and secure. I'm not worried about that falling over at all. And I even have these spread far enough apart so when I get up in here with my fan, I'm gonna have pretty good uh, access to make sure I get that panel wet. So there you go, two different, two different ways to get your project up off of the painted surface to make sure that you're not gonna have any problems with that. I know I had the luxury of having the bumper stand here, but you could improvise with something. Like I said, this has a good, good gravity to it, good balance to it. And then just the good old trick of hanging parts up like that. And I did get this to work. Went around the outside of this a couple times with some string and then tied the knot now i got it up there we're going to get all this done at the same time so look, let me know if you want to see me paint all this stuff this is going to be very tedious where i don't know if you care to see me paint all this stuff too after making a video like this but uh there's a million videos on youtube for I don't know, I just feel it's a little bit boring to do or even to watch anymore. But just let me know in the comment section if you wanna see me paint all my projects, if you wanna see me go all the way with them, just let me know here. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you want to learn something, and if you did, definitely leave a like. But as always, thank you for watching Card Craftsman.